And there we are back again, Orange and Neo here with the WCA America Group B in the winner bracket final. One guy is gonna go to the playoffs after the very next match. And it's uh it's an interesting story here. In Super Bowl, 21 years old, um, maybe his first big tournament ever, and he's facing the exact opposite. Like Long Walk has been around since I know Warcraft and uh yeah, so it's kind of a styles clash. Yeah, I don't think this the styles work in Long Walk's favor, unfortunately. <laughs> um, like, <laughs> it's hard to really tell how in shape Long Walk is from the last couple of games, but I feel like in Super Bowl's pressure might be a little bit too much for him to handle. We'll have to see, though. Um, it's just my prediction is that Long Walk's going to get overwhelmed a little bit in, in the early game, and I think it's gonna sort of cascade into the mid and late if it makes it to the late game okay Just because like modern day ghoul pressure is a lot different than it used to be that's right that's definitely a good point back then ghouls and gargs were everything the undeads had td came and changed everything and i guess long walk was absent there already in 2012 and 13 uh but... they were still doing some fiend strats like ted was starting to do them like early in those days and pretty much everybody was jumping on the Ted bandwagon. Yeah. Understandably so. so. Mean, he might know a little bit about what he's up against, but I think it's Yeah. I don't know how he is against cool pressure. We're gonna see about that. Um Yes, yeah, I don't know. I mean it looked so strong. I mean that there, there weren't too many flaws in Long Walk's game so far. And in Super Bowl on the other side, I don't agree with what he did to to Hunter, like the tier two stuff. I think it's a horrible choice. Uh, not yeah. going for tier three for fifteen minutes. I don't know. He's not playing under the best conditions now. Um, might be afraid of DDoS again or whatever this was. So to be fair, I mean he still won. Indeed, he still won, but. It was tougher than expected, to be honest. Yeah, and maybe that's just something he does against Beastmaster strats. So right. maybe he does something a little bit different against, like, a Demon Hunter. So do we have a game name? Let's see one. Oh, there is one. Really? Where? I just I just have one of the people on my friends list. Okay. I'll just. Yeah. Uh, can you send it to me in Skype? Yeah. yeah. Uh. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a long one. <laughs> long name for long watch. <laughs> Got it on the first try though. Okay, everything is ready. Is Wolf in? Uh, wait for Wolf. Okay. There he is. And uh, we can start this. Uh, do everything correct? Yeah. Okay, Long Walk is ready. I think in Super Bowl is ready as well. Maybe he adjusted his playing conditions now and feels better about this. Amazonia is going to be the first map. And finally a draft where I know what these guys are thinking. Like, in Super Bowl banning TM, I expected this um, after the first draw as well. And then banning Echo Isles, which is okay. I mean, you can play it, I think. It's not that bad. It's not that uh, good. Long Walk banning Turtle Rock and Left Fuge. The two best on that maps, and uh, that's very much understandable. So we're down with Ancient Isles, Amazonia, and Secret Valley. First map is AZ, and we're going in game right now. Oh no, tragedy. We're not getting Beastmaster strats. <laughs> yeah, long walk. Uh, staying true to his Demon Hunter, most likely. I 
And oddly enough, you put the well right next to the altar. You had me game one, long walk, <laughs> doing this to me. So once again, long walk, of course, representing the U.S. in the upper right in yellow here, coming back from basically retirement. And on the other side in Super Bowl, playing hard on ladder from Canada, representing the undead race. It's the only undead player in this very qualifier. One of the two players will meet Walter and Ferv in the playoffs next uh, Sunday. And whoever gets two maps first is that very player. So you say you stick with your Canadian countrymen and go for in Super Bowl? Yep. All right. I'm jumping on the long walk bandwagon then. I really wanted to. I just... <laughs> How can you betray your believe. country? Uh, I don't know. I just, I just feel like he's not in shape enough to pull this out. But we'll see. So what? I'm happy to be wrong. What did you think he did wrong in the games against Mew? Uh, well, there wasn't really much to screw up at that point, but I feel like uh, when it comes to actually getting pressured as opposed to applying pressure, it's a very different style of play. So, does he get the lightning shield? <gasps> he does! See? Long walk. Okay, he's stepping his game up. Exactly, he's getting better and better and better, seeing the Matrix vision now, which I uh, didn't today so far. But yeah, creep goes uh, pretty normal, I'd say. DK is out, ghouls are coming. And you say Super Bowl is going for the normal stuff this time? Yeah, so he's probably going to hit level 2 and then start doing the uh, 6 or 7 ghoul pressure. This is interesting by long walk. Is he okay? I thought he was gonna block the base for some reason. Oh no, there's an opening. But maybe he saw that in Super Bowl is going for the tier two buildings quite frequently in a games against Hunter, so he wants to create a choke or something. Possibly. That would be a nice reaction. I know he was watching. A player's force is and of course, it makes a lot of sense to do so. <clears throat> Yeah, he spent two hours watching the uh, the best of three. <laughs> yep. That was uh, not the best start, but thanks to Long Walk and Mew, we are back on track here. This Murloc spot's usually not what Night Elves do, so he's waiting for, no. for the push. Yeah, this is not something you want to do either, because what happens is if you don't get a little bit of damage on the ghouls before they show up at your base, it becomes a bit of a disaster when it comes to like saving everything. Oh, nice, I think. Blocking the ghouls with, uh, with the demon hunter here. But of course the death knight can do damage and now they squeeze through. Can get to the archers. Coil saves this one ghoul. Nice control by long walk so far. He wants another moon well. There's a little bit of juice left. But oh, this archer is dead, so first blood for Bowl here. Can he get a block with the archer again? He did well against Mew on game uh, 2 here on AZ. I was gonna die first. Archer, I think. Yeah, sl uh, slaughtered by Frostmourne, but the ghoul is down as well, so even trade, I guess. And since you don't really need... Oh, nice save on that Wiz, but not anymore. And he lost the Archer, too. So this is still going reasonably well for Longwalk. I think he's overproducing on the Archers a little bit. I think he could sort of stop after he builds this next one. Well, I think he should stop now, to be honest. But... Let's see. Archer Salt timing is decent. He's going to pick up the boots of speed. We'll see if he picks up... Oh, he's picked up the staff. Okay. Oh, interesting. No boots? Still, his uh, his control looked a little better than I expected. I mean, he still got a really nice choke, and uh, in Super Bowl sort of played into that. Yeah. So I think that worked out pretty well for Long Walk. A little bit stubborn, I think, by, by in Super Bowl, to just walk in there when it's so obvious that it's a trap. But uh, worked well for him. The Huntress Hall is on time. So we will have the Loras on point. DK is getting close to level 3. Demon Hunter is getting close to level 3. So what's he going to do with the staff? The graveyard is super late. Yeah. I guess that slows down his 20 fiend push. <laughs> That's right. And maybe we'll see a decent amount of bears once again. Tier 2 is finished. Lines up with the Huntress Hall perfectly. So Long Walk is not... Uh, infected by that plague that 
spreads across the entire world for getting Hunter's Halls in 2016. Panda's the right decision here. So I like this by Long Walk. It definitely needs to go Panda against this many ghouls. I agree. If uh, you kill a lot of ghouls in the early game, I think Naga is the number one choice. If you have some time, um, at least. Long Walk's putting up an Ancient Protector. Yeah, is that necessary? I don't think so. Me neither. But in Super Interesting Bowl... how uh, in Super Bowl killed the sheep and not the rabbit. <laughs> well, maybe he's a fan of the Easter Bunny. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this timing won't work for Long Walk that much. Uh, the AP is not ready. Breath of Fire into the ghouls, though. But the panda is kind of surrounded. He wants to escape there. Engine of Wonders will most likely not come up against those ghouls. Level 3 on the DK, finally. Still no level 3 on the Demon Hunter, and that's becoming a problem. A nice Breath of Fire! That cone was perfect! And now it's time to pick up the pieces here. There's one more breath. He is surrounded again. Can he get the breath out? No! The animation was there already. Demon Hunter trying to get the Naga, but... Oh, healed up with a potion. Well done. Blocking the DK now, but the ghouls are still standing strong. The AP is ready now, though. Block with the skeleton. Well done by Insuperable. And can he get the kill? There is a TP and there is Moon Juice. Oh. But no, too much damage. He escapes. Going to the Moon Wells. And is there. He can get a lot more ghouls if he wants to. But yeah, now n having no boots is, of course, not the best thing. Now, and then once again, in Super Bowl's really low on wood. Yeah, he pulled all the ghouls again, right? So he can't go for yeah. T3. This is so weird. Why would you not go for a Lich, for Frenzy, for Destroyers, for Worms? I'm not sure. Longwalk's also low on Lumber. So, like, at this point, he should probably pick up a Shredder or something. Because um, I don't really see him making it to Tier 3 anytime soon. Oh, especially it. if he loses that lore. Not cancelled! Oh, he doesn't even cancel. Ay, ay, ay. That was the first big mistake. I feel running into the surround with the Panda again. There is mana, though. Breath of Fire. He will be able to fight out there. If Get a staff. Do damage. Oh yeah, that's a staff exactly. A player's forces are under attack. Still only a level one panda. Now two fiends are coming in. But the DK. Rage runner's doing work though. Having boots now would be so amazing. He's tanking a lot of damage with his demon, and the death knight with the aura is just too fast. He doesn't have a lot in terms of Moonwells left either. And this is pretty dangerous because his tier 3 is going to be fairly light. Okay, so he does back off. Uh, Demon Hunter scouting a bit. Naga not level 2, so you don't have to be afraid of a Fork Lightning. Engine of Lore number 1 is up, so the first Dryad is out. Second one is coming. Uprooting the AP now. Still not going for a Shredder, but I don't think he has the resources at the moment. On the other side, in Super Bowl, still on a hundred lumber and still one ghoul. All right, he buys a shredder now. Ah, he's going for the insert strat. Let's see if he goes double shredder. Oh, he doesn't have the wood for it. <laughs> But with the Naga, actually, Shredder is really strong because you can chase down the Demon Hunter a little bit more effectively. Yeah, the normal damage is really, really strong. You see it here. The Panda's coming in again. Breath of Fire, but oh my god, too much damage! Panda staffed out! Well done by Long Walk. It died. Oh, how did that happen? So, the same reason the Beast Bastard yeah. died in the <laughs> second game. Probably. <laughs> uh. And losing the TP. TP and Panda out. And Moonju's gone. And no tier 3, no Riju, no bears. And I really like this Shredder idea. So it is the Undead Siege again. I would like to say, ah, well, against uh, Wisp is not that great of an idea to buy a skull, but. In general, that would be cool for him. There's a potion on the DK, not on the Demon Hunter. Nice Actually, blood. in this case, forcing a Dedo with Player the with a skull wouldn't be that that bad of an idea. Just because his tier three is already going to be pretty late, so his bear production is going to be really hindered here. 
and that extra skull Ghetto on the wisp would probably clinch it. That's too. true. Oh, Demon Hunter and problems again. There's only the staff, no TP, no potion, no nothing, but no coil as well. Fiend shots trying to get out, but the Fiend is there, could attack, insuperable, not recognizing it. Oh, there's no moon. Oh no, left. Demon Hunter. There's Riju finally to save him. I like how Longwalk's trying to rally Jack some fiends while he um, while he stalls out a little bit here. Yeah. I mean, it's not working out, but <laughs> nope. I like I like the idea. Indeed, the idea is good. The execution not uh, that good, but he's holding on thanks to his edge protector. And now bears are coming, and tier three is uh, still taking like thirty seconds. An insuperable supply stuck. Okay, there we go. He was stuck at forty food again. <laughs> it's a little reminiscent of uh, Zorkul in Germany back then. A thousand gold, forty food. That's so cool, it's uh, standard strategy. So cool was a cool guy. Whatever happened to him, anyways? He's uh, pretty successful in life. He streams a bit on goodgame.ru. Still okay. still in touch with the scene, definitely. Big big love for Warcraft. Surprising Super Bowl isn't sending the Shredder back to, you know, get wood. <laughs> yeah. This is so he can build a fiend? No lumber strategy by in Super Bowl. Only 28. Well, he ha oh, he has one ghoul. Never mind. He's fine. He has one ghoul. Yeah. He can <laughs> he can build one fiend every 90 seconds or something. Demon Hunter finally finding the time to creep. Reach your potion is not that bad. But he's not stacked at all. Oh, and Creepjack is coming. Thanks to the Watch Award that is right next to the shop. Five fiends, and six fiends at the shutter. And Master Bears are pretty far out now. It's because Longwalk still needs, like, 30 lumber. Shredder he, got, also... he got improved wells, though. He didn't get Master Bears. Wow. <laughs> he got improved wells. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, indeed interesting. Still waiting for that Shredder, since it's not only great for lumber of course it's great for defending fiends with that normal damage it gets sniped pretty quick but as long as there's no lich it's still okay i really think in super bowl needed to go tier three at some point yeah that's the same uh, thing that happened against hunter if you give the knight of so much time on tier three you will suffer well the difference is like Demon Hunter is a lot stronger than a Beast Master That's as well. That's right. That's right. And the base is a, it's a little better, I think. The AP is the in position. So Master Bears are ready. And this is where the Night Elf seems to be the strongest. He has an orb. He has staffs. Two, actually. I like that. You notice how he's keeping them in Druid form, just so they regen mana a little bit more? No roar, though. That's right, once again a little mistake, level 3, uh, 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 3 Breath of Fire, here's the first one. First bear is going down though, he's still not focusing the Shredder, I think it's a mistake, maybe he's underestimating the Shredder a bit. Oh, the damage no, but be. he's got double staff, so... I mean, the Shredder of Insuperable is still alive. Yeah. Oh, the coil arrives too late! So one wasted coil here. Okay, Micro by Long Walk, that's for sure. Using a coil offensively to kill that bear, which I think is also unnecessary. And he's losing a lot of fiends. There we go, first mana burn. Finally, he's focusing the Shredder. Yeah, that's right, second mana burn now. And one more coil is left. Use it on a fiend. Hmm. A little premature, maybe. Another Breath of Fire. This bear staffed out. This staff's coming in so handy again. And finally kills the Shredder. GG by Insuperable. And Long Walk is 3-0 in this tournament. Interesting. Okay, I expected a little bit more from Insuperable. To be honest about that. But well played by Long Walk. Yep, but I think... That Ancient Protector actually came in really handy. It, it actually single-handedly got him to Tier 3, basically. We were both questioning that... Uh, that protector but in the end the base build plus the ap that that synergy of the two was so good and definitely helped him but we gotta say i think it's less how long walk played but more about 
how Insuperable's tactic is not working out at all. Yeah. I definitely think he needs to go with a way more solid tier 3 timing push as opposed to this tier 2 hope he doesn't make it to tier 3 strategy with the zero ghoul thing. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't get it. I mean, there's a reason why there's two uh, resources in that game, lumber and gold, and if you if you leave the l lumber alone, I don't know. I mean, tier three on that yeah, is like, so strong. His he, his early ghoul pressure was really good too. Yeah. Like he got a couple of wisps, he got like four archers, and that could have transitioned into a way stronger mid game. But then think. he tunneled way too hard on trying to kill the panda in the back of the yeah. base. Took so much damage, and that sort of ruined his push a little bit. But he still banked on it. I agree. We have a new sub, uh, two new subs, by the way. Thank you, uh, Jan Norn, for a two-month uh, trust. And also, WC3L Happy says less than three second uh, sub in a row. Thank you very much again. So uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can become a sub for free. You have to link your Twitch account to Amazon, and then you can give us the sub. You get uh, an ad-free channel, replay packs, sub emotes, uh, subscriber badges, and stuff like that. So, And you support the channel, of course, which is pretty cool. So now, Longwalk has the map picks. He can go between a Ancient Isle and Secret Valley. I'm not sure which I would pick, to be honest. It's quite hard, right? So AZ was definitely his map. Yeah. But, like, Secret Valley is really annoying to play against Undead just because you can do so much damage to the Death Knight and then they run circles around the fountain and they're full HP in, like, two minutes. Uh, yeah. So it's one of those, you could go Secret Valley just to get it out of the way and then bank on your game three strats. Yeah. Or you can just go with AI and hope you can close it out in two. Long walk picks AI. And, yeah, I can understand that. I think both maps are not that great for Night Elf against Undead. But... Hmm. Well, but there I... are worse options. <laughs> to... <laughs> That's the future Turtle Rock, for example, and that's why they are banned. Um, but, but I think we have to not mention the creeping here, because both will get level 2, and then there's not going to be any creeping at all, most likely. So, on both maps, the distance be between the two bases is not that great, and that's definitely uh, playing for in Super Bowl here. Yeah, I'll be curious to see if he uh, mixes up his strategy here. I think he definitely I mean, has to. I think oh, he, he definitely has to. Definitely yeah. has to. So, okay, it's in the group, so we're just waiting for Wolf, the Russian streamer. The only Russian streamer that is allowed to broadcast this. Shout out to the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy. Yep. Does he stream on Twitch as well, or just GGRU? No, he's also on Twitch. Okay. Longwalk wasn't ready, I think. Oh, he said he's ready. Okay, let's hope he's ready. Is he moving his stuff? Yes, he is. All right. Game number two is happening, everybody. Long walk. The veteran is one map away from the playoffs next Sunday against Firth and Walter. Of course, there's one guy standing against this. He's coming from Canada, spawning in the bottom right. He is, of course, in Super Bowl. But, yeah. I'm I don't know. Really... I'm worrying about my bet right now. You have a bet? Or the well, one with like, me? Because I, I picked in Super Bowl, right? Uh, yeah, you did. I, I should have known not to go against the chosen one, Long Walk, <laughs> the winner of all North American qualifiers. 
<laughs> yeah, I hope we can get an interview with him after the game. That would be cool to just uh, get some some insights of his, how his life is going on and stuff. But I think, therefore, he has to win here today. That's what I didn't call Sonki yesterday after the games. So, so far, so good. Just the standard opening for Insup. And Longwalk is doing uh, the same. No taverns, just uh, the regular engine of war creep here. So this is basically the free level 2 on this map that we were talking about. But what then? Insuperable definitely dictates the pace of the game. And Longwalk is just defending until tier 3. So it's not that easy for him. Yeah. Especially, yeah, well... Now we have to talk about cre uh, creeping a bit, I think. So after this green spot... Fuck, I just spilled my drink. Um, so after this green spot, there's not too much that he can do with the Ancient of War. Uh, no, not really. And um, unless you go double Ancient of War, there's yeah. not much else you can really yeah. creep either. Because if you go to the other green camp, you'll get slowed, and that's just really difficult to do. Um, I've never actually really tried it to, where you get the slow on the archer, and then you try to creep it. I still don't think it's that reliable to creep. Um, and then everything else is just kind of a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so I think both will uh, show a lot of map presence in the late, early stages of the game. Um, maybe to try to pick up the, the second hero of the other guy. Um, if he kills enough ghouls, he can go for uh, uh, Naga. Long walk, and then there's this Naga battle where most of the time one Naga is dying, and then you have the upper hand for that player um, who killed that Naga, obviously. Yeah, it's usually in the elf favor just because Demon Hunter plus Naga is way better than Death Knight plus Naga. And, like, as long as you keep your Naga away from the ghouls, it's, it's usually a free kill. But maybe this is the one map where you can trap the second hero, uh, because, as you can see now on the stream, there's a tree. And the second hero spawns here, so you can get a surround on that very position. Um, but I think it's not that likely to see it here. Tier 2 tech 4 in Super Bowl. Um, no tier 2 for... Oh, it is the second engine of war. Without a Hunter's Hall. And now the tech. And he's bringing both of them back to his base. Instead of just keeping one to creep. Huh. So he's really scared about... The push that's to come. Yeah, and Super Bowl's doing the same creep pattern he did the last time he played Ancient Isles. That's good to see. And Long walks all over this ghoul pressure a little bit, so he gets the one coil. He doesn't have money to pick up boots, though. Is he selling some? No, just the staff to get back home yep. now. Second Angel of War is finishing just in time. So will we have good uh, detonates here as well? <clears throat> I think he needs them. But now he's sending oh, right... Oh, around. Yeah, second time. Okay. All good things come in threes, but not this thing here. Not this surrounds. And now he's standing right in between the two engines of war. Definitely a mistake by Insuperable at this movement here. And therefore he's losing that ghoul. Nope. O almost running into a surround again. Not having the boots is really hurting Long Walk here in this defense. Well, he's still near the well, so even if the Demon Hunter does get surrounded, it'll live. <laughs> That's right. He he does a good job in saving the archers, but now the Moon Juice is almost gone. He gets... Well, escapes again. And Long Superman walk. needs to back out of this, actually. His Death Knight's getting really low. Yeah, that's definitely not what you want. Sheep block <laughs> against the ghoul. But yeah, he's listening to you. He's retreating. And he didn't accomplish too much. Like in the games against Hunter, when he backed out of this uh, ghoul push, he was super close to level 3. Longwalk did a great job in saving uh, almost every archer. Yeah. Well, I, sh I should have known better than to bet against Longwalk. Oh no. <laughs> Double crypt? Double crypt, though. No graveyard. Wow. And he's supply stuck. And he's supply stuck. This is so bad. This kills his timing. It's just... Yeah, now the panda's mandatory, obviously. Did Longwalk see the double crypt? 
I don't know, but he's getting nature's blessing. Yeah, so he knows. Trying his best to creep up the panda now. Le level 3 Demon Hunter will be helpful as well. Second hero is, of course, the Naga again. Only going for the Ooh, big double guy. Circlet. Oh, nice block from the ghoul here by Inseparable. I like this. He used the Demon Hunter to sort of try and bait Inseparable just because he still has the staff. So if he actually did get surrounded, he still could have gotten out. DK with four charges of Rod of Necromancy and a potion of healing. So this is kind of an all in, but he messed up his timing so bad. He could have had three more ghouls at this point. Well, yeah, his he's supply stuck again. Wow. You're right. 39 <laughs> or 40. So he's trying to get up the lores. Oh, the DK, what's he doing there? Get, catching a lot of free hits from the Demon Hunter. This is not supposed to happen. Panda with a Breath of Fire. Nice position here in between the ghouls, so not too many ghouls can hit them. Three of them are, su are super hurt. Third one dying, fourth one dying. I think this is definitely overcommitment. The panda's in trouble though. Can escape for now. There is another Breath of Fire in a bit, but once again the panda dying. Can he get a revenge kill on the Naga or the DK using the potion now on the first hero? But the lores are coming through and Dryads are coming in. Surround and kills the Naga with the mana burn. So he gets the surround on the second, uh, the kill on the second hero. Well played by Longwalk. Really, really great defense. I mean, Insuperable is kind of stubbornly running into that base against the double engine of uh, war, against the Tree of Ages. A player's forces are so Longwalk has a... still not going tier 3, he's just getting ghouls. Yeah, just imagine... Apparently fiends didn't work. <laughs> just imagine Frenzy now, with all those ghouls. Now he goes into a graveyard. Uh, can he go tier 3 without a graveyard? Yes, it's okay. the altar that you need. Oh uh, yeah, true. And now he has so much creeping potential with those two engines of wars. He still is a little bit cautious about what's going on. He's not willing to move out that far. Well, he has a dryad, so he's actually pretty safe. And he's got a second one on the way. Naga and Panda are back. Three and one heroes on... Oh, not both sides. DK is still on level two, but he walks straight into a surround. Has to pull the staff immediately. Is there a coil? Nope. Longwalk is doing a good job with those mana burns over and over again. Two dryads out now, tier three, one third done. A player's forces are under he has to defend the ghouls once again, and Super Bowl wants to solve this with Micro, but walks into a lot of Breath of Fire. It's only level one, but he hits so many units that it definitely pays off. No heal scroll against this. Going for a surround. And now you're seeing why dryads are just so good against ghouls. Slowing them down, you're, poisoning them. You're yeah. just unable to get good positioning on the archers. And uh, almost around it again, but yeah, this kiting of long walk in uh, quotes, of course, works amazing against in Super Bowl. Uh, now the panda is there, staff. Yes, there is staffs out. And now running away from Dryads without a TP is not going to happen. Nice block by Long Walk. Can he get the kill though? Yes, he can. One more hit. Uh, once again. Yeah, okay, there we go. I thought once again not having the boots is uh, not doing him a favor, but this Long Walk is definitely stronger than expected. Defending three ghoul pushes. Yeah, well, I, I also expected more from in Super Bowl style, I guess. It's not really working out the way I thought it would. That's right. But he's being it's still, really weird about it. It's still, like, it, yes, he went double crit, but it's still the fastest tier 3 tech that we've seen from a Super Bowl all tournament. Yeah, and he unsummoned one of the crypts, so that was that's a good call. Yeah. He's still really behind, though. In theory, this is supposed to work great, I think, uh, because the map is really small. But Longwalk had the perfect answer with those two Ancient of Wars and the, uh, the base layout. Yeah. So now, the next big trouble is Panda has three. And Panda has a lot of mana. 
And the Demon Hunter is getting level 4, so nuking the Demon Hunter, not really possible, because there's not too many fiends. Lich is coming out now, though, so we finally have this triple hero combo by Insuperable, and the, the, the Orb of Corruption, not taking that much time. And he's going Sacrificial Pit and Worms, then, most likely. But that's all gonna take so much time. Mark of the Claw. Yeah, and oddly enough, Long Walk went for Master Bears over the, uh, over the Moonwell upgrade this time. <laughs> very, very odd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's cancelling the pit and that is a lot of lumber if he doesn't cancel it he didn't oh my god that is so expensive in lumber the lich is out now has one nova finally roar so we have siege bears but he really doesn't uh, want to fight against frost them. armor what oh no he went nova okay first bear down with the dk in deep deep trouble Getting one more hit and Breath of Fire burns him to death. Staffing out that bear. And the statue will be gone as well, most likely. Can he somehow slow him down with a Naga or something? Okay, save that statue. That was big. But more and more bears are coming in. These heroes are so strong. Yeah, and Longwork setting up the expo. As oh, yeah. he should. Yeah, definitely. He can back this up with an exponent mm, for sure. Naga has a potion, but this is just delaying his death or her death. This demon hunter is reigning supreme over basically everything. Staff out again. Oh, this was a misrally bear. But he doesn't find the big levels with it, so it shouldn't be a problem. Next breath is coming in. Oh. Boom! That's not enough. But there we go. Second hero kill by the Demon Hunter. And the Lich is next. Death Knight is far, far away. Good blocks by the Panda. But yeah, this is... This is insuperable in uh, the loser's bracket. I mean, you, we say all the time, don't fight in an undead base. But these two heroes seem to be enough. Okay, now he escapes. He bought so much time. For his expansion, he still has a lot of time. It's like one minute until the DK is back. Lich is not level two. Naga takes 60 seconds, I guess. And there's no army. Like, one fiend, one statue. That's it. Yeah. I don't know. This isn't what I expect from someone's supposedly best matchup. Interesting. And Longwalk's gonna, actually going to be able to get a decent amount of creeping done, so he's probably going to hit Panda like four and a half. Yeah. If he hits the red camp and then the <laughs> Merc camp. Panda has a mana potion, so he knows that Breath of Fire is uh, going to be one of his keys to success. He has region on the Demon Hunter, so creeping is child's play for him now. Health Stone, yep, makes him even more tanky. And Super Bowl scouts this expansion, though. What's he going to do with this? Trying to get this p the pit back up. Now he has to wait for the Naga. That is so much time. Yeah, and he's moving out without a town portal as well. Let's see what Longwalk decides to do here. I think he's just going to play patient until this yep. expo really, really banks. Because at this point, it's really up to Insuperable to sort of make a move and sort of contest the expansion. Yeah, but of course he can't do anything with that army. No. Robo of Demon the Mage. level 5. Yeah, and uh, Robo of the Magi for the Panda. That is an additional 90 mana. Brings him up to 400. Players' forces are under attack. Lost plus nine for the Lich. Can he somehow get this Lich in carry mode? That could mm. be one solution. Now the Naga's is Yeah, back. but I mean Demon Hunter's five. That's right. That's right. A player's forces are under attack. Long walk going for double upgrades. Okay. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. 
And here we go. He has Mark of the Claw, but he only... Okay, he has three bears. Four bears. All right, I didn't see them, but... This is like siege tanks. With that roll. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, bears are elves' best siege unit. That's Why right. not use them? And there's one destroyer to dispel it. See it now. Panda. Oh, one of the wind being used again. Can be dispelled. Is uh, done. Goes for the Black Citadel. Mass repair, though. One bear staffed out. He has one more staff available. The damage output is getting lower, though. And the second bear is to be staffed out. This is not really going to work. Breath of Fire also not that great, but he can't repair anymore. Black Citadel down, TP out. Supply stuck again and no lumber. Whoa, 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 Breath of Fire <laughs> killing two cigarettes. He's supply stuck forever. And his expansion is paying off and paying off and paying off and paying off. The good news is the Necropolis doesn't cost wood. So, I mean, <laughs> the Super Bowl's fine there. That's right. Double Engine of War coming in to defend this expansion. Is the damage enough from Super Bowl to kill this Tree of Life? It has Nature's Blessing, I would guess not. Uh, one bear in the base to kill the remaining Acolytes, because of course he can't rebuild them. Very cool idea by Long Walk. It takes a while until he's dead. So it's basically two bases versus zero. And it's up to the heroes to pick up the pieces here and the engine of war. 64 versus 40. And the panda, look at him. Five, uh, uh, breaths of fire and long walk makes daddy proud. Going into the Damn. playoffs next Sunday. Damn, man. 4-0. I, I, I honestly expected more from in Super Bowl, but that was well played by long walk. He's in way better shape than I thought he was. I don't know if he watched a lot of replays from Super Bowl before, so he was so he knew this what was coming. But he was prepared perfectly. Yeah. For what's to come. This is Yeah, the prep work Longwalk did was definitely worth. <laughs> wow. Like he even had different ways to prep for each map as well. Like he had the Devil Ancient of War this game and he had a, the Ancient Protector and a sizable number of archers in the previous game and even the order in which he got upgrades so like first game he got the super wells and then he went for master bears and then in game two he went for nature's blessing before he took the tier three and got master bears and then went for the super well upgrade very interesting adaptations i think yeah I think definitely exactly and now i'm Incredibly hyped about Fur versus Long Walk. Me too. <laughs> gonna be awesome. That's gonna be real good. I mean, they won't match in the first round because they're both number one of their groups. But uh, maybe it's gonna be the winner bracket final um, next week on Sunday. Well, that would be cool. I I'm asking Long Walk now if he's up for an interview. Um, so that would be nice, but I think he's celebrating at the moment. So we have two more series for you. The first one is going to be Hunter versus Miu, uh, the loser bracket semi-final, and then in Super Bowl gets another chance to make it to the playoffs if he beats the winner of this first series. So until Long Walk responds, we go into a little break, prepare everything, and then we're going to be right back. WC America by LNE -E and back to Warcraft. We are uh, going into the loser bracket semi-final. CNC. 